What up, y'all? It is your boy Darius, and I'm back. Man, man, oh man, what we got here, man? What a year we started in 2024, y'all. Think what Diddy is not gonna end, y'all. So this title said, "Young Ma, Young Miami sold her soul to Diddy." J Lo sister Diddy with a crime. So let's check this out. See what she's saying is, cause Diddy, man, this is not looking good for him. No time, guys. Let's get. It. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Diddy has been some serious hot news in the media lately, ever since his homes were raided by Homeland Security. Now, he is under investigation for allegedly running a sex trafficking ring, and his alleged crimes are being compared to Jeffrey Epstein. People believe that Diddy is the Jeffrey Epstein of hip-hop. Mm. Now, there were several lawsuits filed against Diddy that actually led to him being raided. Yep. Not just Cassie's lawsuit, but several others which accused Diddy of sexual misconduct and trafficking. And Diddy's former producer, Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Lil Rod, accused Diddy of a slew of things. And the feds have been investigating Diddy for a while. They've done interviews. They've heard all the accusations, and it's given them reason to investigate Diddy. So this is a very serious thing. They raided his home, grabbed his security footage, seized his electronics, and they're also issuing subpoenas to multiple companies that are dealing with Diddy. So it's getting deep, but we still don't know what's going to happen with all of this. I mean, Diddy has not been charged or arrested as of yet. Some people believe that maybe he got raided because... They're trying to suppress evidence that will incriminate other high-profile people. That's a whole nother conspiracy. But Diddy was stopped at a Miami airport, and somebody in his entourage got arrested. And his name is Brendan Paul. Mm. And in Little Rod's lawsuit, he claimed that Brendan Paul was Diddy's drug mule. And he was responsible for getting illegal drugs and guns for Diddy. Wow. And Diddy apparently has a bad drug problem. Cassie actually highlighted it in her lawsuit. And his drug of choice is Tucci, which is also called pink cocaine. Mm. Now, Little Rod and his lawyer did amend his lawsuit, and he added new information. And before I get into it, I just want to say all of this stuff is alleged. We don't know if these allegations are true or not. Yeah. But a lot of people believe some of the things in the lawsuit. Now, he did bring up Young Miami, and he said that Young Miami hopped on the jet to deliver Tucci to Diddy. It said this, Brendan and Christina Coram brought drugs. Plaintiff and the Combs Rico Emprise were rehearsing for something in the Water Festival in Virginia. Plaintiff Jones personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of coke in his dressing room. Defendant Sean Combs wanted Tucci, but Brendan forgot it. So defendant Christina Coram called Young Miami, who then brought it on a private jet from Miami. Now, it's crazy that Young Miami is being implicated like this in the lawsuit, and it comes to show you that she really sold out. She really sold her soul to Diddy big time. Wow. If all of this is true. She wasn't only accused of transferring dope, but she was also accused of doing dope. It was said in the lawsuit that Little Rod witnessed her do coke with Diddy. Not only that, it was said that Young Miami was pretty much a high-paid escort for Diddy. So... This whole time, we thought that she was one of Diddy's girlfriends, but no, she wasn't his girlfriend. She was, well, I'm going to say it in her words, not mine. With a W, like I'm a whore. But define that, though. Like, I'm a whore. This was what was said in the lawsuit. According mm -mm -mm -mm. to Plaintiff Jones, defendant Sean Combs bragged about having several women on a monthly stipend. According to Plaintiff Jones, the women who received these payments are Carisha Romika Brown Lee. AKA Young Miami, Jade Ramy, AKA Jade, and Daphne Joy Cervantes Narvez. I don't know if I'm saying that right. AKA Daphne Joy, who are paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' sex workers. Based on information and belief, they receive payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill. So the money that was supposed to be used for Diddy's business and record label was used to fund other illegal activity. And Robin Greenhill and the head of UMG, Sir Lucian Grange, are implicated in this lawsuit and accused of transferring money to Diddy for illegal purposes. Now, once again, this is all alleged, okay? So I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying that it's not true. 
but it definitely has to be proven in court. But it is a little messed up that young Miami is being implicated in all of this, but she was proud to be behind Diddy and she was down with some of the shenanigans as long as she got paid and got her expensive bags. She was all right. She was going to do whatever Diddy wanted. She would even let him piss on her. It say take a shot and uh. go to shower as I do. You can pee on me in the shower. You can pee on me like once you come in. Like, it just depends. And she even uh. posted about Diddy making girls do sexual acts. I mean, when Young Miami was taunting Diddy's other girl, Gina V, she pretty much incriminated Diddy and said, if I wanted you to eat my pee, Diddy would have had you on your knees. Oh, you an eater. Gina, you've been down bad ever since I came into the picture. Oh, you've been crying for a baby for 10 years. You've been around as a B that eat P and D when he feel like it. You a eater. You the same B that was crying on Tasha K because you wanted a baby. Poor Sushi. Look at these tweets. Yo, Miami is pretty Ooh. much saying that Diddy made Gina do things on command. And we don't even know if she consented to any of this. Yeah. It's kind of like with the whole Cassie situation. When Diddy wanted freak offs, he demanded that Cassie participated or she would face repercussions. It's really sick and twisted. And Young Miami really messed up. I mean, was it really worth it? Yeah. I know she has to be thinking, man, none of this was worth it. But this is what happens when you sell your soul and compromise yourself and throw away your morals and values. This is bad. To chase a bag. If Young Miami really wanted to be a kept woman, she could have found herself a normal sugar daddy. But no, she wanted to chase behind Diddy's crazy self and act bad. And now look what's happening to her. Her reputation is going bad and everything she gained from being with Diddy, she's about to lose. It's a sad situation and I hate to see it happen to young Miami, but she should have made better choices and hopefully she turns her life around before it's too late. Now, I also want to bring up Daphne Joy being listed as one of Diddy's sex workers, because if you don't know, Daphne is actually 50 Cent's baby mama. Yeah. And this is one of the main reasons why 50 doesn't like Diddy now. He has other reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is the fact that Diddy was messing around with his baby mama. And this was 50's reaction when he read that she allegedly was one of Diddy's paid escorts. He said, I didn't know you was a sex worker. You little sex worker, LOL. <laughs> Yo, this is a movie. 50 Cent was joking about it, but I know he was fuming because now he's trying to seek full custody of their son, Sire. Mm. And he could be doing it out of spite and also to avoid paying any more money and child support. After finding out that she's allegedly getting paid a bunch of money from Diddy a month, yeah, he definitely doesn't feel like he should be paying her child support. <laughs> now, Daphne did respond to 50, and she accused 50 of something pretty outrageous. Yeah. She first denied being a sex worker. She said, I'm deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones' lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. She also said this about 50. Curtis James Jackson, everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wrecking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son, and you saw him 10 times out of the two years that we lived a mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of r me and physically abusing Wow. Me. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you from this point on. Ooh. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Ooh, so this right here is pretty heavy. Yeah, now, this is serious. These allegations from Daphne... I will say this. I don't fully believe that she wasn't getting paid to have sex with Diddy. She probably wasn't getting pimped out like Cassie was, but I do kind of believe that she was compensated to sleep with him and participate in other things that he liked, just like young Miami did. And as far as the allegations against 50 are concerned, I honestly wouldn't dismiss it. Now, I don't know about him aring her. He did actually come out and deny that, but I can believe that he put his hands on her. He was in a DV incident with Daphne back in 2013. Yeah, I remember and that. he took a plea deal to get his DV charge dismissed. So 
Fifty's closet isn't clean. Yeah. And I do find it interesting that he's going so hard at Diddy. And he's even bringing up Jay-Z as well. <laughs> a lot of people believe that Jay-Z is in cahoots with Diddy. And he's going to be the next one to be exposed. Which is probably true. Possibly. But still, 50's history isn't exactly clean. So, him throwing stones from a glass house is crazy. But this was 50's response to his baby mama. He said... It is what it is. See you in family court, sex worker. <laughs> you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now, here we are, little sex worker. Damn. Chow. He has no chill. Yeah, he, no he chill. is like, petty. Why is he like this? I don't want to laugh because it's not funny, but still, he just has no chill. He does. He's just petty. But he probably needs to be careful because he does have real enemies in the industry, and people can definitely put the battery in Daphne's pack to take him down. But anyway, back to Diddy. Another one of Diddy's victims, Natanya Rubin, came out and did an interview with News Nation. If you don't know who Natanya Rubin is... She was one of the victims from the club shooting that happened in the 90s. Yeah. In 1999, Diddy pulled out a gun and pow powed her in the face. And what's crazy is Diddy's girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, was the one who passed him the gun, allegedly. Mm. And this was actually mentioned in Rodney's lawsuit. Rodney claimed that Diddy was dangerous and he would brag about his gun collection and brag about getting away with shooting people. And the lawsuit said, according to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs shared that he was responsible for the shooting in the nightclub in New York City with rapper Shine. According to Mr. Jones, he shared that the artist, Mr. Combs' girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, carried the firearm into the club for him and passed him the gun after he got into an altercation with another individual. Diddy's victim, Natanya, has spoken out about this, and she confirmed that Diddy was the one who pow powed her in the face. I Ooh. am the woman who he shot in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his M.O. Yeah, and you have said since really right after the shooting that it was P. Diddy who shot you. Um, I mean, I think you even said it to, to the doctor that night, right? I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns. I've had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. Jesus. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it, you know, vehemently to all parties involved. I have nine bullet fragments rem remaining in my face. Would you like to see the investigation involving you getting shot at that club be reopened? Absolutely, absolutely. The irony is there was a grand jury. J-Lo testified at the grand jury, as did many other people. It needs to be reopened because if that is in fact the case, she carried the gun in and she lied to the grand jury. It needs to be reopened. So now Jennifer Lopez can possibly be implicated because Ooh. she allegedly passed the gun to Diddy. But Rodney said in his lawsuit that Diddy would make people in his circle carry his weapons to kind of demonstrate how dangerous he is. So maybe Jennifer carried it out of fear, but if it's true that she passed the gun to Diddy and if it's true that she lied on stand about Natanya being shot by Diddy, it might backfire for her in the future Probably if so. this case were to reopen. A lot of people lied to cover for Diddy and the rapper Shine took the fall for Diddy. So yeah. It's really messed up. Diddy has been getting away with evil for a long time, and now Damn. he has to pay for his crimes. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this. Wow. Whew. Man, this is bad, man. Diddy, man. Yeah, I think he's done, man. I don't know, man. I know he hasn't been charged yet, though, but if they get another Evans on him, I think he's done. I think R. Kelly and Diddy going to be cellmates. I think so. So, man, I want to know how J-Lo felt about this, though. Because I'm pretty sure she's going to get uh, charged with it as well. So, we'll see what happens, though. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.